and booted. I did. went up and up. Doridanov raising five, me raising ten. Well, it had to end somewhere. I bid a hundred and twenty thousand. And that was it. The cherry orchard is mine. It's mine. Oh, God, do you hear me? The cherry orchard is mine. Go on, tell me I'm drunk. Tell me I'm crazy. Tell me I'm dreaming. If only my father and my grandfather could see me now. Me. The little Yamalai. The ignorant boy they were always thrashing. Who went about barefoot. Even in winter. <laughs> Now, the owner of the finest estate in the whole wide world. <laughs> the same estate where they lived and died as slaves. <laughs> they weren't even allowed into the kitchen. I must be asleep. It's a dream. <laughs> My imagination is playing tricks. She threw these away. That was her way of saying that she is no longer keeper of this house. Oh well, can't be helped. Musicians! Play! I want music! Go on, dance! Just wait and see! You will either park and take the axe to the orchard. All those trees will come crashing down. <gasps> and in their place, we burn houses. And our children, and our children's children, will see a whole new world springing to life in the new century. Come away. Let's leave her alone. She's crying. Come on. Why? Why didn't you listen to me? My poor friend. Dear, dear lady. There is nothing you can do now. Please go away. If it could all be different. If there was some way of changing our confused, unhappy lives. Louder! What well, can't you play any louder? Everything must be as I want it now! Never mind. I can pay for everything. I am the new master. The owner of the cherry orchard. My dear, sweet, lovely mama. I love you. I know the cherry orchard is sold. It's gone. But please don't cry. We'll go away from here. And we'll start a new garden. More wonderful than this one. And there, you'll know happiness. Deep and peaceful. 
wonderful happiness, like the glow of the evening sun. And you will smile, Mama. Oh, yes, my dearest. You will. Peasants have come to say goodbye. You must stop giving everything away. I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. These are the only glasses I could find. You must have a glass of champagne with me before you go. Please! Yourself, Yasha. No one else will. Here's happiness to those who are going away and to those who are staying behind. <laughs> this is not champagne as I know it. It cost me eight rubles. November already. But it's crisp and clear. 
perfect weather for building. The train goes in less than an hour, my friends. We'll have to leave for the station in 20 minutes. We'll have to hurry. The horses are ready. What the devil has happened to my galoshes? They've disappeared. Anya! I'm leaving too. For Kharkov. We're all taking the same train. Well, time to get down to some real work. At least there's enough time around here doing nothing. Come, have some champagne. No, thank you. So, you're off to Moscow. I'll accompany them to town. Go on to Moscow in a day or two. I suppose the professors wouldn't dream of starting their lectures without you. Think of something new, can't you? The joke's getting stale and rather boring. Has anyone seen my galoshes? <laughs> I don't suppose you and I are likely to meet again. So for what it's worth, let me give you a word of advice. Stop waving your arms about. It's a bad habit. Get out of it. And another thing. Those summer villas of yours. All those speculations about holiday makers and farms and so on. That too is a form of arm waving. The strange thing is, I like you all the same. You have the fine, sensitive fingers of an artist. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Thank you for everything. Look. Something for the journey. It's a little money. What for? I don't need it. But I know you're penniless. Thank you, but I'm not. I just got some money for a translation. I have it right here. Look, I made a big profit on a sale of land recently. I can easily let you have some. Hey, why turn your nose up at it? Here are your filthy galoshes. These aren't my galoshes. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because I feel like it. <laughs> Look, I'm a peasant. I like straight talk. I know you need this. Go away. Even if you offered me a hundred thousand, I wouldn't take it. All these things that you people think so important mean nothing to me. They're like so much fluff in the wind. I don't need you. I'm free. Free? We put on such airs, you and I, when we are together, don't we? Oh well. Life goes on all the same. I understand Leonid Andreevich has taken a job at the bank. Good pay, too. It won't last, of course. He's too lazy. until after she's gone. Really, you could show a little more tact. No respect at all. I'll see to it. Right away. Stupid fools. Stop! No! Stop! Tell us! Stop!
They've stopped. Yasha. Sophia's been taken to hospital. I made all the arrangements first thing this morning. They must have taken him by now. That's all I ask. One look. What's there to cry about? Well, you're going away. You're leaving me. Vive la France. In six days, I'll be in Paris again. <laughs> Watch out. Tomorrow, we get into the express and off we go. <laughs> if you'd behaved like a lady, you wouldn't be crying now. I am a lady. Very sensitive. Take these to our carriage, will you? Your mother is outside waiting to say goodbye. Leon Pantelevich, will you make sure Fears was taken to hospital? I took care of it this morning. Why ask a thousand times? We should be getting ready. My treasure, how radiant you look. Are you happy? Very happy. Yes, Mama. A new life is beginning. Yes. Things aren't so bad after all. Before the orchard was sold, we were all upset and unhappy. But once the matter was settled, irrevocably settled, we could breathe more freely. We even felt quite cheerful. Well, I'm a banker now. And you too, Luba. You're looking much better. No question about it. That's true. My nerves are much better. And I'm sleeping better, too. You'll come back soon, won't you, Mama? Yes, darling. In Paris, I shall live off the money Babushka sent us to buy the house. <laughs> Still, it won't last very long, will it? <laughs> I'm going to study hard and pass all my exams. You'll see. I'll work. I'll help you. Oh, dear Mama. Think of all the things we can do together, the wonderful books we can read, the, the walks we can take. Oh, darling. My poor little homeless darling. This is dreadful. I have nowhere to live. You must find me a new position, please. Of course we will, Charlotte Ivanovna. Please, some water. I'm about to drown. Thank you. He's after money again, you can be sure. Please. My dear lady, it's been it's been a long time. I'm so I'm so glad to see you. My brilliant friend. Here, take this. Four hundred rubles. I still owe you eight hundred and forty. I'm speechless. What, where did you get this? <laughs> A most incredible thing. Some Englishman came along and found some white clay on my land. Oh, and here, here, here. For you, for you, my dearest lady. Four hundred. <laughs> Always so good. So generous. So. Oh, thank you. The rest. Later. 
More, please. What Englishmen? I gave them a 24-year lease on the land with the clay. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to Schnoikov, to Kadamanov, to here, to there. I owe money everywhere. Thank you. I'll call again on Thursday. We're moving to town. And tomorrow, I go to France. What? Oh, of course. The furniture. The trunks. Don't let it worry you, though. I know you will be happy with God's help. I know you will be. My Dashenka sends her regards. I'm leaving with a heavy heart. First, I'm worried about Fears. He's sick. Fears was taken to hospital this morning, Mama. Ask Yasha. And then there's Varya. She's used to getting up early and working hard, and now she's like a fish out of water. She looks so pale, so thin. <laughs> and she cries so easily, poor dear. I'm sure you know, Yermolai Alexeyevich, how much I dreamed of bringing you two together. She loves you, and you are very fond of her. And yet you always seem to be avoiding each other. I can't understand why. Frankly, neither can I. This... It's, it's so strange, this whole business. I... If it's not too late, I'm quite willing, even now. But let's settle it right away. For once you've gone, I know I'll never ask her. Wonderful. I shall call her at once. it myself and now I can't remember where will you be going now T to the Resgulib it's all arranged I I'll, I'll be working of course as a housekeeper that's in Yashnev isn't it Yes. I too am going away. To Kharkov. On the same train. There's a lot of work waiting for me. Hepa Hordov will look after things while I'm gone. I've taken him on. Have you really? Yes. This time last year, it was snowing already. Remember, remember? Now it's quite clear and bright. Cold, of course. Not more than five degrees, I imagine. I wouldn't know. Our thermometer is broken. You're like Look 
Come and mingle. Time to go. Yes, Mama. It's time. Dunyasha. Now the journey begins. Our journey. Oh, my dear ones. As we take leave of this house forever, how can I be silent? How can I refrain from giving voice to all the emotions that surge from the depths of my being? Uncle, Uncle, dear. Hmm? Hmm. Off the cushion. Hmm. Uh. Missed again. I'll keep quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. One last look. Dear Mama, you used to love this room. From this window, I used to watch Father riding off to church.
locked. They've gone. They've forgotten me. to have gone without it. I should have seen to it. Oh, these youngsters. My life has gone by. As though I'd never lived. No strength. Nothing left. Nothing. <laughs> 